Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you guys so much for encouraging me to actually do this video because you took my poll and I had to make this video. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate. So I'll be doing a video, just a brief video, sharing a few skincare tips that I have used and that works that I've seen work on myself and a few other people. Yeah. So my name is Rume. Um disclaimer I'm not a dermatologist. Yeah, I did not study it in school either. But um I'm a skincare junkie and I've done a couple of research. Not so much but a lot of research and that was due to some skincare issues that I had so it made me actually research and yeah. I built a few tips which I want to share with you and I hope it helps you yeah so um, a brief background about myself um, so I started my skincare journey in 2017 between 2017 to 2019 um, I tried a few products I did a few DIYs so then I really had hyperpigmentation I had pimples but I only had them when I was on my period so I would see pimple and as my period is going it clears out but I was doing some I had some bad habits I was doing back then that would leave like a lot of scars so I had a lot of scars around my cheek because I was where they were mostly concentrated at um, but I wasn't focusing on my pimple back then I was only focusing on the fact that I had very bad hyperpigmentation like you could see a really clear difference between my face and the rest part of my body so I was always looking for something brightening, something, you know, toning for my face and I did a lot of that and then noticing my skin started reacting to those things I was doing so I had to stop some of them although I was still using some of them because they said well it was going to work so I just wanted to try it out but instead it actually damaged my skin a lot so yeah I stopped them. I stopped most of them last year actually then fast forward to August last year um, my skin started getting worse so it felt like as I stopped the product my skin was now telling me you know that okay you've been damaging me since now like I've had enough so my skin started to react I started to now break out whether I was on my period I was not on my period I just had pimples popping and this was like August last year popping out on my cheek on my chin on my forehead and i became bothered because i had a few friends at work that would tell me i remember what happened to your face like you didn't used to have pimples this bad i mean what are you doing what did you start eating are you using something you should not be using so i started becoming bothered a few people encouraged me to why not see a dermatologist or something so i really wanted to but at that time i couldn't so I was never able to go to the dermatologist to actually get a proper diagnostics for what was going on with my skin. So what I did instead was um, I started doing a lot of research. I started watching a lot of YouTube videos. I started googling stuff. So I wanted to actually understand skincare. It felt like the things I was trying, they just fall to my skin. So why was it spoiling my skin? Did you get? Why was it damaging my skin rather? So I wanted to know, so I started doing really in-depth research. In fact, I have a book just right beside me <laughs> where I would write down stuff because I was trying to understand every product. I was trying to understand my skin. So I got to a point where I didn't just want to buy a product because somebody said buy that product or someone said, oh, this product is good. It worked for me. I wanted to understand the product and understand how it will relate to me started to learn about my skin i found out what my skin type is so i have dry skin but i also have very sensitive skin so I came up with a couple of these tips that i'm about to share with you i hope it helps you my first skincare tip is um i need you guys to understand that skincare is no magic there is no there's no magic cream there's no magic soap and that was one thing i learned because initially back then in 2017 to 2019 when i stopped using most of those things i was using there were things that were had names like half cast whitening um 24 hours spot clearing kind of funny things and um so those things actually don't work so it might look like it's working but it is damaging your skin in the long run and 
what happens is over time you start to see the effect of that damage sometimes you might not see the damage at that time you might see it at that time if you're lucky so you stop on time but if you're like me and you see damage after a while and then you become confused because you're not sure what happened to your skin yeah so you don't want to go through that so skincare is not magic you need to you need to know that it's it's hard work to be honest it's not it's not it's really hard work trust me guys and a lot of consistency like even when you're tired yeah it's a lot of consistency and it's hard work um the second tip i would like to give is you need to know your skin type so a lot of videos like the one i'm creating and so much more out there and each of each of those videos talk about different things on different skins and each person that's talking has has a different skin type from you and from me no matter the country that they're living in but if you're so for example if you're watching a video of someone that has oily skin and you have dry skin like me and you're using the products that she's recommending you might probably not see the effect on your skin because you guys have two different skin types so that's why knowing your skin type is very important it helps you a lot you know the right products to use and trust me once you know your skin type and you're using the right product for your skin type you start seeing results like you literally start seeing so you will not start seeing results in one week or please don't quote me but a good skincare routine you will start seeing changes within three to four weeks you will start seeing your pimples your swelling of your pimples come your inflammations going down you see although for hyperpigmentation it takes longer if you have um irritation like those tiny things that cause rashes you will see them drying out so as long as you're using a good product with your skin type that's why you need to know your skin type yeah so my second so my first one is skincare is no magic number two um you need to know your skin type then number three you need to stop touching your face you need to stop popping your pimple like you need to not pop your pimple guys i know that it is so nice trust me i'm i was a big defaulter sometimes till now i still try to control myself when i have breakouts and yes i have breakouts guys let me even show you <laughs> see this breakouts i just had them sometime earlier this month and they are just clearing out here yes, so the fact that you start a skincare routine does not mean that you will not have acne yeah I know it's hard to believe but yeah some people are blessed with good genes they never have acne some of us at that time of the month you would have acne it's just knowing how to manage it at each time so when you're using a good skincare product with your skin type and you are not popping your pimple your face will clear out yeah so stop popping your pimple because when you do so you exert some form of pressure at that part of your face which will leave a mark and sometimes the pores that comes out splashes on other parts of your face and what happens is that you create another pimple mark everywhere so that's why sometimes when you pop your pimple you sleep and you wake up you notice three bigger ones by the side of the one that you think has gone down so yeah so that's why you should stop popping your pimple <laughs> now my fourth tip is you need to cleanse your face and for cleansing i know a lot of us already wash our face we've heard of washing your face twice a day which is good but you need to cleanse your face like you need to cleanse it properly and when i say cleanse it properly so there is this 60 seconds rule where you should wash your face for at least 60 seconds and to be honest i started doing this in september when i started building my new skincare routine i would wash as i'm washing my face i would literally be counting down 60 59 58 57 big and i noticed that over time what happened was my cleanser was doing the work that it was supposed to be doing because the problem with not cleansing properly is the work that your cleanser is supposed to do you because it's not doing it you'll be expecting your toner or your moisturizer to be doing it for you and that's not exactly how it works <laughs> i know but that's not how it works so you need to cleanse your face i want you to try and practice cleansing your face for at least 60 seconds in the morning and at night yeah like massage your cleanser in calm down enjoy it like your skincare have fun take your time so right here i'm just going to say that every of this tip that i'm giving goes for both either guys or girls these are tips that anyone can use yes yeah, so it's not gender specific this is more of skincare specific if you do these general tips you will see improvements in your skin and yes you can quote me anywhere
<laughs> yes so clench your face at least for 60 seconds and use the right cleanser for your skin type yeah now my fifth skincare tip is you need to stop over exfoliating your face you should exfoliate i do exfoliate you should not exfoliate more than twice a week if you're new to skincare i would advise i as in me again Rome pedro would advise that you exfoliate once a week or you can do twice but i usually say once if you're new to skincare because i feel like you should let your skin first start to understand the new changes that is coming with it so you yeah, don't over exfoliate and when you use physical exfoliants which are the scrubs that you use don't rub it in like just massage it gently it already has either sugar salt nuts whatever is in your scrub that's already doing the exfoliation for you you don't need to overdo it on your skin so yeah don't stop over exfoliating i'll talk more about exfoliating in another video where i will explain the two types of exfoliation the physical exfoliation and the chemical exfoliation yeah then now my last tip is use sunscreen um, no matter where you are in the world whether you're here in lagos nigeria like me you are outside the country you are in the us uk france germany wherever you are sunscreen is so important because when you don't use sunscreen and you go out during the day or you're even in your house during the day and you uv rays once they attack your skin so i'm using the word attack because i find it annoying because it actually attacks it causes sunburn which damages your skin and what what that does is once your skin is damaged that means that your skin you, that layer of your skin right there becomes weak and allows pollutants bacteria to come in most times it leaves a dark spot it leaves redness which can cause inflammation and then sometimes pimples which you don't want so you need to use sunscreen like please use sunscreen it's it's very important like even if you don't want to do so much to your skincare which i believe that skincare should be very simple steps like you should cleanse your face and you should moisturize and use sunscreen like those three things you should do so sunscreen is like so important is an important part of skincare please include it in your skincare routine and let me know what you think those are my skincare tips please try them out these are tips that you don't need to really do much like you can just try them out and let me know what you think um i think i like the fact that i'm releasing this video and i'll probably do more and share some tips let me know if this helps um this is a recap of all the points right here number one skincare is no magic number two know your skin type number three stop touching your face stop touching your face stop popping your pimple number four cleanse your face and cleanse your face properly in cleansing don't also over cleanse number five stop over exfoliating and number six use sunscreen i hope these tips help you i hope they bring you to the point you want to get in your skincare um next week i'll release a video and i'll talk about my holy grail products i'll talk about the products that help clear my acne because i had really big ones and i'll try and maybe put a picture in my next video to show you how my face was and how it gradually improved to this i'll research because i don't know if i have those pictures but yeah i'll try to do that so you guys know that i'm not just talking i have actually experienced some things i've had like yeah some bad experiences i hope this helps i hope you're all staying safe please practice social distancing let's stay safe and have a lovely day bye